All right, Shalom. There's a brother in the hall here from the GMS Orlando camp. And I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. All right, now this is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 25. All right, and it reads, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body more than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them, are ye not much better than they? Now, I want to deal with this through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? Because uh, it's something that uh, that we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai for those who believe in the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, which is Yahweh, all right? That's the name for the one they ignorantly call God, and Yahweh Shai is the name for the one they ignorantly call Jesus, all right? For you sincere believers, all right, for you laborers, you know, we know and understand not to take any thought for our life. You know, but I want to deal with this um, in particular because that word thought in the Greek um, gives you a better idea of what the Lord is saying. All right. All right. Now, that word thought in uh, Matthew 6 and 25 is moremneo. Moremneo. All right. And it says to be anxious, to be troubled with cares, to care for, or look out for a thing. To seek to promote one's interests, caring or providing. All right, and I want to deal with uh, the main one, which is to be anxious. All right, to be troubled. All right, because it's not saying don't take any thought as far as being responsible for your life. All right, your your obligations in this world. All right, being responsible for taking care of your your business, so to speak. All right, it's not talking about that. What it is talking about is to be anxious and troubled. All right. And that's why the Lord uh, compared, uh, did a parable with the fowls of the air, all right? You know, the birds in the animal world, you know, if they don't get a meal, they're not worried, all right? They're not under a tree uh, uh, shaking and shivering, all right? They're going about their business. They exist. They're handling their business, and things are provided for, all right? Things are taken care of for them. Are ye not much better than they? All right, so understanding that, you know, we should continue to keep that kind of mindset. All right, because the scriptures also talk about this. All right, let me continue on. All right, uh, verse. I'm going to jump down really quick. All right. Uh, verse 34 reads, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. And really that's going into being present. All right. You know, that's something me and the brothers down here talk about uh, a good portion of time. All right. And that's being present, you know, not worrying about the what ifs. All right. Not worrying about not worrying and being troubled about what's going to happen next week. You know, you uh, you live for today through the spirit and power of the house by Shemel Shah. Not meaning you are reckless with your life, but that you you live in that moment. All right. You enjoy uh, uh, the life that the Lord is giving you. All right, according to your food and the raiment, you know, therewith be content. You know, having that uh, that joy in the Heavenly Father, man. Understanding that the deliverance is nigh. But to be anxious about tomorrow, to be anxious about your present situation, that's something that the Lord has instructed us not to do. All right. And he points out that we're more, uh, we're more valuable to the Father than the fowls of the air. All right. Than the sparrows. All right, the grass that's clothed better than Solomon. And that's why we have to continue to keep that mindset of being present in the moment and not giving too much anxious, troubled energy, you know, to what's going on in your life, man. Because really that goes into the flesh and it's that, it's that doubt. I, I won't say it's unbelief. It's that, that, that second and that moment of doubt that lives in, and resides inside the flesh. You know, you're born into a world where you're taught to worry and, and be anxious, especially you Negro, Latino, and Native American uh, uh, men, women, all right, and even the children, all right? The Lord said that we will have no assurance of life. 
But that's why the just shall live by faith, man. And that faith is ultimately that trust in the Heavenly Father. You know, we're working, all of us in our individual walks in life, we're working to perfect that faith in us, man. Through the Spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. The Lord, I should say, is working to perfect that faith in us. And this is one of those staples that Yahweh by Shemel Shah gave us. To not take thought, you know, and worry about certain things and, and, and the uh, affairs and the cares of this world. You know, the Lord is going to provide for you. He's going to take care of you. And you have to continue to believe that. And a, a, a easy way to do that, all right, to take your mind out of thinking about tomorrow and worrying is to be in the present. To be in the present, all right? To look what's going on around you and actually be present in that moment. Listen to a video, all right? Be present in that video. Don't don't let your mind drift off to the what is. Keep your mind locked in and focused. You know, that's why a lot of people in this day and age do meditation because it trains their mind to focus and to be present. You know, but that's something that the Lord has already uh, required of us. You know, he's already told us, you know, don't take no thought for tomorrow. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Meaning you have to pay attention to catch it. You know, me and the brothers were talking about this, uh, man, had to be a, a few months back. How every detail of your life is mapped out by the Heavenly Father, man. And a lot of your worries about tomorrow and yesterday... Uh, uh, causes you to miss out on some of those signs and those spiritual things that the Lord is trying to show you in that very moment that you're living in. All right, whether you're going to a store, whether you're at work. All right, a lot of times, most people in this world, they live in autopilot. All right, they're thinking about the future or they're reminiscing on the past and they're never really in the present moment. And for us, how much more so should we be present knowing that the Lord is showing signs 24-7? Every brother, every sister's life is a testimony. But if you're constantly looking at the future and thinking about the past, you're missing out on opportunities that may present itself as a testimony to you. You know, a lot of brothers see 144. All right, how can you do that if you're not paying attention, if you're not present? And I thought that uh, through the spirit of Pavi by Shemal Shah, Matthew 6 and 25 speaks so beautifully to that because the Lord made beautiful examples of nature. You know how every day the Lord is feeding animals, foxes in the uh, in the forest, all right? And all kind of animals in the rainforest, in the desert, all right? In the grasslands, in the swamps. Every day the Lord is feeding them. And, and the Lord don't have man around 24-7 to check and make sure. But the Lord is taking care of nature 24-7, man, around the clock. The sun comes up, the moon, uh, the sun goes down and the moon comes up. All of these things happen continuously, consistently. All right. So how much more so is the Lord going to take care of you? All right. Those who truly believe in him and trust in him. And if you know that, all right, the goal, all right, the goal in this journey is to know that in your flesh. All right. Uh, and when I say flesh, I mean, know it in your own personal journey. All right, be able to reflect these kind of uh, concepts and precepts in your everyday walk. You know, the flesh is corruptible, so it's not perfect. All right, but the idea, all right, through the Spirit of Pavia by Shemel Shah is to take the same wisdom that the Lord has given us in these scriptures and apply it to your life so that you present it in your life almost automatically. And that can only happen through rehearsing these righteous acts. That can only be built up through trials and tribulations. And one of the most important uh, pieces of wisdom the Lord has ever given us, all right, especially in the, uh, the New Covenant, New Testament, all right, is to not take thought for tomorrow, not to worry about these things, man. To worry less. You know, they got a saying in the world that say, pray more, worry less, man. You know, it says that in James as well. Don't, uh, don't be wavering, man. You know, you got to pray with confidence that the Lord's going to take care of it. And if you've already prayed for it, why are you worrying about it? Be present in the moment. Continue to keep your mind geared and meditating on your how by Shemel Shai. And the moment those little seeds of, of, of the flesh try to tempt you and sway you and have you thinking or caring and, and, and having worries about the future or the past. All right. What if this happens? What if this happens? Remember these concepts. Remember these precepts. 
to take your mind off of that and to continue to stay present in the moment. Not to worry about those things because Yahweh Shema Shai is taking care of us 24-7, man. There are many situations in your life, your life alone, man. There's many situations that you didn't think you would make it out of, and here you are. That in itself is a testimony that the Lord is taking care of you. And you've wasted minutes, hours, months, weeks, days worrying about something that the Lord already intended to take care of, man. You know, and that's something that's big, all right? You know, especially when you're coming into the faith and the Lord begins to take you through certain uh, uncertain situations, all right? You have that, uh, that worry, that worry spirit, and then the Lord rescues you and you feel guilty because you doubted the Lord a little bit, man. So consider that. Consider that. So whenever you're in an uncertain situation, remember how you felt when the Lord delivered you and you doubted. And that in itself should uh, embolden you to have faith and be confident in the Lord, man. So when he do deliver you, you don't have to have that seed of guilt. If that makes sense. So Lord willing, this was edifying. I didn't want to spend too much time on it, but it was on my spirit. All right, Lord willing, this was edifying. Again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yahshua Allah. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.